Hello, today I'm working on an HP TPN Q222, otherwise known as the, this one is specifically a 15S-FQ1505SA. It's a, it's a, on the thin side. I worked on one of these before or something similar to this. It wasn't the exact same model number and it was uh, bent in the middle and broken screen. This also has a cracked LCD panel. Uh, yeah, you can see the crack in the, the light there. So today we're going to replace the LCD panel. This model, I believe the LCD panel uses double-sided tape to adhere the LCD panel to the lid. We'll find out for sure once I get this bezel off of here. So that's what we'll do. Okay. So I was able to get my tool into this side of it. Maybe I'm going to tip this back like this. Yeah, there's definitely some tape holding this together. So I'll be putting double-sided tape on to put it back together. Oh, there's also clips in there too. I'm not really prying, I'm just sliding the tool underneath and separating the, I think there's double-sided tape on the bezel itself, but it's not particularly strong. And so I'm just kind of coaxing it away. And now again, I want to be careful around the webcam. I'm not exactly sure what to expect up here. So I'll just go real shallow around the edge. Yeah. Okay. So now we're still attached at the bottom somehow. Oh, it looks like this bezel is attached to this silver bit, I think. So I don't know if I have to actually remove that or if it'll just come out. Oh, it's not attached to that. Okay. It's just slid underneath it. And with the double-sided tape, it just doesn't doesn't feel great coming out of there, but nothing broke. All the clips are intact, so that is definitely a success. Now, this panel is double-sided taped in place. I can see at the top and bottom the ends of the tape strips. So at the top here, there's a little black, there's a little bit of black tape. It's actually still sticky. So it's only there and there. Uh, does it come out the bottom as well? Yep. So if I removed the panel from the hinge, that would come out, but I'm not able to do that because there's a connector in here somewhere in the bottom. There's going to be a connector under there. So I'm going to try to pull. This is a special kind of tape similar to the 3M command strips that when you pull on the end and you stretch the tape, it gets thinner and just releases its bond. Um, starting from up here, it'll just release and it'll get longer and longer. So as long as I don't break it, I'll be able to get this panel off relatively easily. If I break it, I don't know what I'm going to do. It could, there are, there are options, but none of them are good. So I'm going to turn this around so that I have better access to the tape. And I think I'm going to try these blunt forceps. Pulling very slowly because I really don't want to break this. Okay, it came off in one piece. I've got the antenna wire in the way. Okay. 
Amazing. I've looked and looked and looked for the exact replacement tape, and the people who have it, if you go to, for a Lenovo laptop, they have a similar setup. If you go directly to Lenovo for that adhesive kit, just the, the two strips of tape, or maybe it's four strips of tape, are like 74 pounds. So that's almost as much as we paid for the new LCD. So we double the price of this repair. So I'm not going to do that. Just going to put a piece of padding down here so I can lay the LCD panel down and see what we're dealing with here. So there's a piece of tape. It's not very sticky. Then on top of a piece of plastic tape, it is. So there's another piece of tape under this. And it's there. This is very strong tape. I mean, I kind of want to leave that tape on the connector so that I can attach it to the next LCD panel. Wow, okay. Hmm. So it's really the tape that's holding that in place. Okay. Old panel, be gone. When I buy these LCD panels from laptoplcdpanels.co.uk, they pack them very well. They also get them to me very quickly. I ordered this uh, on Thursday before lunchtime, Thursday morning. And it was with me at, I think, 9.30 on Friday a.m. So less than 24 hours later, I had this. I'm sure that's not always the case, but I've had uh, really good experiences with this company. So I prefer them. When I shop for LCD panels, I go to laptoplcdpanels.co.uk first. And I will also Google the model number, you know, TPN Q222 LCD panel to see if other companies have it significantly cheaper. But I think the market for LCD panels is very tight and they're all roughly, you know, the prices are roughly the same no matter where you go. And when I know that I can get excellent service from a company, I prefer them. So that's the way this is working. I'm very happy with them so far and I will continue to use them as much as possible. Now, there's not a whole lot of room here. The panel needs to be all the way back. So it's just not easy to get. I might take, I've got two layers of foam here. I might take one of them away. Give myself a little more room. Yeah, this is, there's not a lot of space here. I wonder if I shouldn't have taken this plastic bezel off or if I can get this cable to come out a little bit more. It's stuck. They've got some double-sided tape there holding it on to that lid. I'm just going to get a little slack out of it. Okay. Just trying to get it to line up just right. And then pulling it into place. I don't think that's quite... Yeah, that felt good. Now I need this to stay there. And it's definitely not going to stay there with that tape. I'm going to add a piece over it. This is just straight sellotape. It's going to hold their sellotape down, I hope. And then I'll put this back where it was. A little crooked, but I'm okay with that. Set this back in place and test. All right, we've got the HP logo. We've got Windows loading. LCD panel looks brilliant. So I'm just going to shut down. Microsoft comment problem go away. Yeah, that battery is completely flat. Right, so the tape that I have, 
I compared several double-sided tape products and found that this here is releasable. It's fetch to release tape. Um, it doesn't actually really say that as far as I can tell on the packaging. And I don't see any images of them stretching to release, but I did a test. If I'll try to link to my other video to show you the test that I'm referring to, where I tested five different types of double-sided tape and found that this does what I needed to do. Unfortunately, it's it's a little bit thick. The tape that I'm replacing isn't quite so thick. I'm going to use this. And in order to do that, this is much wider than the other tape, but it's also thicker. So that worries me a little bit. I think I'm going to use one strip and cut it down the middle so that I can use one strip on either side. And I'll put it in the same place that the factory had the tape in. So they ran the tape up this edge here. It was on the plastic, not on the metal or the you know, film. And it came out next to this screw. So there's a little channel here where there was a tab of tape sticking up. So I'm going to try to replicate that. I'm going to try to have a strip of tape that comes down here and is about, I don't know, just under a centimeter wide, probably eight millimeters wide. Right. So my plan is to stick this just above the top so it hangs out like the other one did. And I'm going to try to get it right next to this metal shield so that I'm not sticking on to the shield. I'm just right next to it. Right down to the bottom. Now I'm going to cut that with the scissors. Now I'm going to try to slice it in half with my razor knife. I don't think we want it to be that thick or that wide. I mean, the back end was definitely cut a couple times, but the tape itself is not letting go. I didn't get through the tape. So I'm afraid I've probably wasted half of this tape. Especially now that I've twisted it. Yep. Okay. Don't try to save the tape. Just try to save the job here. Oh, so it's really just one spot here, right? Not been able to make it let go. Mm, no, don't reuse that. I'm going to bunch that together up here so that it's going to be possible to grab hold later if it ever has to be taken off. So, there. So, what I've done at the top, I've just folded the corner back around this screw. I'm hoping that it's going to be flat enough that the LCD panel will sit flush. Only time will tell. Now I need to do the same thing with the other side. And I'm tempted to... I'm going to start over. This tape, I've damaged it too far. It's too... I've touched it too much to reuse it. Now, that didn't go very well. So I wonder if I should rethink my approach for the other side. As I do this side, I'm going to put my camera over here. I mean, what should I do differently? I wish I could cut this before I lay it on. I wish I could cut this on the roll. Maybe I can. I mean, what would be the worst case outcome is that I cut through two layers of tape or three, but if I'm using it in this capacity, then that wouldn't be bad, would it? So I'm going to try to cut the tape. using just the kind of the, the position of the blade, you know, from the, when I lay it down, this blade is about, uh, about eight millimeters from the, from the surface. So if I press it into here, 
should be able to slice this tape at about eight millimeters. I'm gonna go down to and start right about here and just turn. That's worked brilliantly. So now I have what looks to me like the right length or right width piece of tape. I'm going to stick it on here. Okay. And it feels better than the other side. I wonder if I should redo the other side. Let me get this top bit folded around the screw. So it'll be removable. There we go. It's right on the antenna wire. Maybe I need to cut that back a tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to lay the LCD panel on here and see how it feels. Mm, I don't know. It's thick. Is it too thick? I'm going to try to peel the backing off of just the, the top and fold it down a tiny bit to see if I can get the top to start the sticking process. Now that'll be off to the side and then I'm going to do the other, do the same to the other side. That way I'll be able to more easily maneuver the LCD panel because I don't really want it to stick to everything right away. I want it to stick just up at the top to make sure that things are lined up properly. Is it, it's a tiny bit. The LCD panel is a couple millimeters shorter than the space that we have here. So I want to be sure that it fits properly, that it's square and that it's taking up as much of the space as it can. So there. That seems like it's where it should be. Now, can I get this out of here? Yes. Let me get a little more sticky on there. Okay. I'm going to close this on to a couple of pieces of foam. And put a little bit of pressure on it. Not a lot of pressure, just the weight of my arms. While we wait for that, I'm going to peel the old double-sided tape off of the bezel.
Yuck. So for this, I have this double-sided tape that comes with a 6mm and a 9mm roll. Now that 6mm might actually be too wide for this edge. So probably what I'll do is lay it down and fold it over, fold it in half. Uh, the 9 can go along the bottom. Probably will do the 6 across the top as well. Uh, I think I'll start with the 9 at the bottom. I can see it. Maybe I have to do the 6 all the way around. Trying to go next to the the clips that stick up, and so I'm going up against those clips. So that when I peel this off and I fold it back, it all stays on this side of that clip. So I think I'll do the same up here. Um, I'm going to avoid overlapping. I think. Right. Wow. So that is a tight fit inside here. How does it even... Because I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get this bezel into that bottom edge. It's basically a dry run. So I've got to be on this side of that cable. Now, all of this would have to go behind there. But there are some big clips that... There's no chance of that going in. Maybe there is. That's madness. We're going to take the protective film before it's too late. I'm kind of getting it, aren't I? It's going... Oh yeah, that's in. Okay. That's in. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Protective film coming off of the LCD panel. Now I need to do my double-sided tape fold over trick. But I need to get that backing off. Didn't start the back in before I did this, I maybe should have. So now I'm folding this over so that I can't see it from the front. That side worked well. That worked. No, the top. <clears throat> so you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm I'm taking the where the six millimeter tape Really, I only wanted to cover three millimeters. I'm folding it under, so I'm going to fold it back on itself. And I'm doing so in a way that ensures that none of it's going to be visible from the front. Okay, I think that worked. Now I've got my bottom, got the bottom bezel in place. It's clipped in. I'm starting there. I just really hope everything lines up. It feels like it does. Those clips are falling into place. Okay. So far so good.
feel like there's one up in the corner here that isn't quite caught. This little plastic boyo came out of the bottom here, I think. I'll try to pry that back in place. Yeah, that's out. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> right. That's That's good. Let's plug it back in. Make sure that it works properly. Just not sure about that bottom. Yeah. So it snapped everywhere except on the left. Now, yeah, that's right. So this is all lined up at the bottom. Those are little rubber bumpers. And there's no gap there. Everything is snapped into place. And the LCD looks beautiful. I'm very happy. I'm just going to clean up the rest of the laptop. And call the customer and have them pick it up. Thank you very much for watching.